Norns, by Monum, is a sound computer. Seen here is the Norns Shield, whose story starts with a soldering iron. Norn Shield is essentially a hat for the Raspberry Pi, and it comes as a PCB. There's also a number of other parts you need to make it work, and you can buy those separately or as a kit directly from Mono. I chose to do that myself because it makes the entire soldering process really easy. It's just a bunch of through hole solders. After that, it's just a simple matter of putting the screws in the correct place. I was able to get everything to boot up properly on the first try, which is less of a testament to my own skills and more to the simplicity of the process and the documentation. Norns comes loaded with a bunch of different programs built in, and I'm going to be focusing mostly on the ones that you can use just interacting with the device controls themselves. Though I am going to bring in a MIDI controller a little bit later to show how it works as an instrument. This is a wake. It's a set of two sequences that interact with each other. Uh, one on the top kind of sums with the one on the bottom in order to get the sound you hear now. All that sound is being generated by a Super Collider instrument. Super Collider is a C Sound Family audio generation super program. I've been using it for years. It's extremely powerful. You can use this top encoder to scroll through the different options, changing the filter cutoff, hopping the gain, changing the BPM, maybe modulating the root node. I can press the top knob and then rotate the encoder to access the menu with even more parameters. So let's give that scale a little bit of a different sound. And let's change this envelope. Going to the uh, main settings menu, uh, you can see that Norn supports a number of different devices. Uh, most of these are bottom specific, the Arc and the Grid, uh, but I also have a set of MIDI devices connected via USB. And I'm going to go ahead and show you what one instrument that uses those MIDI devices sounds like. So I'm going to go ahead and switch to Molly the Poly. This is a subtractive synthesizer. Uh, it supports leads, pads, and percussion sounds. And with a twist of the right encoder, it reinitializes with completely different parameters. So you get kind of a random patch each time. Personally, I like the leads on this instrument the best, but I could definitely see someone getting a lot of use out of the pads, so let's switch to those. These have kind of a B-film sci-fi kind of aesthetic to them, and being able to switch between different parameters at random can be nice to kind of discover sounds you weren't really sure you were looking for in the first place. Okay, here's some percussion sounds. Again, like I said, I like the leads best. Passers by is a West Coast style monosynth, so you get a wave that you get to distort in different ways. And to create a complex signal, you also have FM parameters. Sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to navigate because every instrument does things slightly differently, but you get a handle on things pretty quickly. 
Uh, generally, the top area allows you to switch between different pages, and then uh, it becomes pretty obvious based on the visual feedback on the screen what the different knobs and encoders do on the bottom. Passers by also gives you an option to randomize all the parameters. You can make some pretty harsh sounds. I like them. I want to give you a behind the scenes look at what some of the code behind some of these programs looks like. So Norns has a program called Maiden and it runs on your web browser. You can set up Norns Shield as either a hotspot or connect to the same router as I have. We're on the same network. And so we can look at the scripts. So here is uh, Mullet the Poly, for instance. Uh, all of the interaction controls we can see here is in this Lua script. And then the sound it generates, the engine is written inside this super collider script. So this is all open source. You can tweak it if there's something you don't like or if you wanna add a new feature to it, it's super easy to do. Now this is also the easiest place to either update your existing installed instruments or if you look at uh, the project manager here you can go to available and there's a bunch of community libraries that you can also install. The full range of possibilities unlocked through Lua and Super Collider are outside of the scope of this video so for now here's one of those community scripts, Dronecaster. I'll let its screeching oscillators close out this video. Thank you.